I have a confession to make. I've been having these crazy wild fantasies about brazenly breaking lockdown and hopping on a plane and going somewhere new and just feeling that energy, that buzz, that rush, that spring in my step from traveling again. But it's not the time just yet, of course, and right now we're all just hanging in there and kind of looking forward to when we're able to rediscover the joys of travel again, hopefully sometime soon. And when travel does resume, it does seem likely that domestic travel within our home countries is gonna resume a little bit first before international flights and international travel becomes feasible again for most people. And so that's why today I wanted to take a look at a credit card that I think is ideally suited to domestic travel and booking domestic flights within Canada. And that's gonna be, hold on, not this one, not this one, not this one. Oh yeah, this one. Look at that. Do you see that? That's the RBC WestJet World Elite MasterCard. And in this video, let's talk about what makes this card so great, from its sign-up bonus of 350 WestJet dollars, to what are the best uses of those WestJet dollars, to all the other perks and benefits and features that the card offers. Before we get into it, as usual, a quick request. If you really enjoy these videos, if you're just on the edge of your seat right now waiting for a crisp and comprehensive breakdown of the WestJet World Elite MasterCard, then please do hit the like button and subscribe to the Prince of Travel YouTube channel. It really helps me out, it really tells YouTube that I'm doing a good job and it encourages them to share the video with even more viewers, especially if you hit like and subscribe right now just as the video is starting. And with that said, let's begin. Now, just to clarify, before we begin, we're gonna be talking about the RBC WestJet World Elite MasterCard, which just like any other World Elite product, requires a minimum annual personal income of $80,000 or a minimum household income of $150,000 to be eligible. Now, if you're not eligible for that, then there's also another base level RBC WestJet card that's not a World Elite product. It's still gonna help you travel on WestJet, but it does lack many of the features and benefits that we're gonna be talking about in the video. Now, historically, there have been varying levels of the sign-up bonus on this card, but right now it's offering a very strong bonus of 350 WestJet dollars upon first purchase. So you just need to get approved for the card and make a small purchase on it in order to unlock that full 350 WestJet dollars sign-up bonus. And there's no minimum spending requirements or anything like that. Making the RBC WestJet one of the best cards to get if you're looking for a big sign-up bonus that's easy to obtain with no minimum spend. Now, in the past, the sign-up bonus used to be 250 WestJet dollars, but it was bumped up to 350 in November 2019. Now, there is a published end date on this offer of June 30th, 2020, but in speaking to WestJet, I've learned that they intend to keep it at this higher level of 350 WestJet dollars to entice people to sign up for the card and to participate in the loyalty program. So I would expect that this higher level of 350 WestJet dollars will stick around for a long time. Now, in exchange for the sign-up bonus, the card does come with an annual fee of $119. Now, in the past, there have been rare occasions when that first year fee was waived, but right now, there's no first year fee waiver. You do have to pay that $119 annual fee during the first year. We'll talk a little bit more about how you can redeem your 350 WestJet dollars later in the video, but the baseline redemption option would be exactly as the name suggests. You could use it as $350 towards any WestJet flights. So if we look at the net value from this card, $350 minus that $119 annual fee comes to a net value of $231. And $231 in net value that's good, but perhaps not truly outstanding just yet. So let's take a look at what other benefits and features there are to holding this card that can sweeten the deal a little bit. The first major benefit is gonna be a free first checked bag when flying with WestJet. And this is something that WestJet usually charges 30 to $35 for. 
And not only does the primary card holder get the free first check back, but also anybody who's booked on the same reservation as them up to a total of nine passengers. This means that if you're traveling as a family of four and each one of you needs to bring one checked bag once on the outbound and once on the return, and if one of you held the WestJet World Elite MasterCard, then the whole family would save on that $30 checked bag fee, meaning that as a family, you would save a total of $240 $30 times four people times two directions. You know, a lot of the times on this channel, we talk about the savings and the value to be had in flying business class and getting elite status and all that lofty stuff. Well, I think this is a great example of how the WestJet World Elite MasterCard can be a great card for an ordinary traveler who might just travel once or twice per year with their families, but can still unlock hundreds of dollars in value just from this one credit card benefit. Another example of a strong benefit on this card would be something that was recently added to all World Elite MasterCards in Canada. And that's the free Boingo Wi-Fi membership, which also happens to be the provider that WestJet uses on board their aircraft. So not only do you get a free first check bag, but you also get free onboard Wi-Fi on WestJet flights, which is available on over 97% of their fleet, just by holding the WestJet World Elite MasterCard. And that's just another example of how this credit card gives you a much smoother travel experience with WestJet. Okay, so the final extra feature, and it's a very popular feature on this card, and that's the annual companion voucher when flying with WestJet. This voucher allows you to book two passengers on the same itinerary while paying the full fare for the first passenger and only a flat discounted rate for the second passenger, plus any taxes and fees and the rates for the second passenger are shown here. For Canada and the continental US, it's gonna be 119 Canadian dollars, whereas for all other flights in the WestJet network, so that includes Central America, the Caribbean, Hawaii, and international flights to Europe, that's gonna be $399. So for example, if you're looking to book a transcontinental flight in the middle of peak season in winter, then that's probably gonna cost you a lot of money for the round trip. Let's call it $800. Now, if you had the companion fare, then you could book the first passenger at that $800 fare. And then for the second passenger, you would only pay $119 plus any taxes and fees, which usually come to about $80 to $100. So let's call it $200 in total. Now that companion fare has just saved you an additional $600 on top of all the money you would have saved on the checked bags, the onboard Wi-Fi, and the $350 WestJet dollars you got as a sign-up bonus on the WestJet World Elite. And yes, you may combine the WestJet dollars with the companion fare to save even more money out of pocket. So in this example, instead of paying the $1,000 for the combined fare for two people, you can use your $350 WestJet dollars to bring your out-of-pocket spending down to $650 for a trip that would have originally cost you $1,600 for two people. Now, how's that for the savings from just one credit card? Now, keep in mind that the nature of the companion fare is that the higher of the fare that you pay for the first passenger, the greater the savings on the second passenger's part. So if you're the type of traveler who only hunts for the cheapest fares and only books the cheapest deals, then you might not get substantial savings from the companion fare. But if you're the type of traveler who needs to book last minute or needs to travel on short notice or during peak season when all the fares are high, then you're gonna get some very considerable savings from the companion fare. And also remember that this is an annual companion voucher, which means that you do get a new voucher every year when you renew the card, making the RBC WestJet World Elite a very solid option to keep around for the long term year after year. So the companion fare is one of the best perks of this credit card and indeed of the WestJet Rewards loyalty program as a whole. But we still haven't talked about what I would say is the best part of this loyalty program and what makes it ideally suited to domestic travel within Canada. And that's the WestJet member exclusive fares. Now, this is a relatively little known part of the WestJet Rewards program that can nevertheless offer outstanding value. And basically how it works is it's similar to an award availability bucket for WestJet flights, just like how Aeroplan or Avios or other airline frequent flyer programs also have award availability. Member exclusive fares are designed to reward WestJet's most loyal customers, so they have to be booked with WestJet dollars as the currency, and they can't be booked directly with cash. Now they're subject to an award chart, which is displayed here, and the best sweet spot is gonna be redeeming 125 WestJet dollars 
for a one-way journey within Canada and the continental US. Now the best part is, from what I can tell, usually WestJet makes four seats available on every flight as a member exclusive fare. And you can often find member exclusive availability even when the cash fares have risen far above the $125 level for the one-way journey. To give you an example, last year I needed to fly from Vancouver to Montreal in the middle of summer and the cash fare for that one-way journey was getting to $450 to $500 one way per person. So for two people, I was looking at paying $900 out of pocket. But then I went on WestJet.com and searched for member exclusive fare availability and saw that those flights were actually available as a member exclusive. So I ended up paying only $250 WestJet dollars plus about $150 in taxes and fees for what would have been a $900 one-way ticket for two people. And the same is true for more complex itineraries on WestJet. It's all priced at $125 WestJet dollars for the one-way, as long as you can find that member exclusive fare availability. So even something like St. John's Newfoundland to Yellowknife Northwest Territories might be $1,000 for a regular one-way ticket, but it's $125 WestJet dollars via member exclusives. Now, remember that you do need to have enough WestJet dollars in your account to actually book a member exclusive fare. And the 350 WestJet dollars from the RBC World Elite MasterCard will get you almost enough for three one-way trips within Canada or the United States on member exclusives. But here's the beautiful thing, even if you don't actually have enough WestJet dollars to book a member exclusive, you can buy the WestJet dollars straight from the program at a rate that's very close to par. And so that means that basically anyone in Canada can and arguably should be taking advantage of this sweet spot because you can basically fly anywhere that WestJet flies for a flat rate of $125 plus taxes and fees, as long as you're somewhat flexible in terms of the exact date of travel so that you can find that member exclusive fare space. And so that's why I say that WestJet Rewards is one of the best loyalty programs for domestic travel and the RBC WestJet World Elite, one of the best credit cards for that purpose. Now, of course, all of the flights we talked about are gonna be in economy class, but I think we can all agree that it's prudent to fly in economy for the short domestic flights and then save our more valuable miles for those long haul business class and first class redemptions to international destinations. But I know somebody is gonna ask the question, can you use WestJet dollars to fly WestJet's new international business class on the Dreamliner at a reduced cost? And the answer is no, unfortunately. The new business class isn't part of the member exclusive fare program just yet. So the only real way to reduce your cost would be to apply your WestJet dollars directly at a one-to-one -one ratio against the fare itself. So that's probably only gonna be useful for those of you who, you know, somehow, don't ask me how, but those of you who've racked up tens of thousands worth of WestJet dollars to burn on business class redemptions. But in general, I do think that the WestJet World Elite MasterCard is a very strong product for any type of traveler, even if you only travel occasionally within Canada or to the US once or twice per year. The $350 sign-up bonus, the free first checked bag, the free onboard Wi-Fi, the companion voucher, and the ability to unlock member exclusive fares make this a card that every Canadian should consider adding to their wallet. If you think you've benefited from my coverage of this card and you're interested in applying, then I would be very grateful if you considered applying through the Prince of Travel affiliate link down in the description below. It really goes a long way towards helping support the channel and the website and encouraging me to make future credit card videos and sharing my travel tips with all of you. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if so, please hit the like button and subscribe to the Prince of Travel YouTube channel. Just click the subscribe button button below the video and I would love to hear from you in the comments what do you think of the RBC WestJet World Elite? Do you have this card and if so have you found value in keeping it in the long term or do you prefer to switch the card to other RBC products? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time. The first major benefit is going to be a free first, free first, free first. The first benefit is going to be a free first.